Good morning, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. So guys, I am struggling. I'm struggling with Vlogmas. It's hard editing every day. I don't know, I just feel like I forget a lot of the time to, to just film what I'm doing. And also sometimes it's not that interesting, so I'm like, what am I gonna film? I'm just sitting here like with my mom watching TV or I'm just watching YouTube videos or I'm just editing. But I think that's the whole point of vlogging is that there's no such thing as I'm just. People, at least I, like to see that other people are normal just like me and they do the things that I do and yes it's cool to watch them do fun interesting things sometimes but it's also cool to watch them like just do time lapses of them cleaning their kitchen or whatever so I hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas so far and right now I'm going to go edit the past two days of vlogmas because again I fell behind I'm gonna try and stay on top of it but it's hard it's hard I don't know how you daily vloggers do this man holy macaroni guys like there's all these local events on Facebook and I always see the notifications and I always ignore them. But I decided to click on it just to get rid of it and I'm discovering all of these cool things that you can do around town. Like there is a Brooklyn Christmas market. The only Christmas market I know is the um, distillery district one and I always go all the way downtown but there's one in Brooklyn apparently that we can check out. There's a Christmas craft market That sounds cool album release party that one of my um old co-workers is going to that seems cool I heart beer festival in Toronto that's tomorrow. And there's a holiday fair in Nathan Phillips Square and this is going on all month. It started December 1st and it's going all the way up to the 23rd. I definitely want to go to that. This is so cool. I did not know about any of this stuff. Winter lights at the Royal Botanical Gardens. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Look at all the fun things to do. This is so cool. Christmas Off-Broadway at the Embassy Theater in Oshawa. What? There's like Christmas plays? What? This is so cool. <laughs> you guys, this really just goes to show like I am such a homebody. Like I spend probably, I'd say 80% of my free time, maybe more than that, probably 90% of my free time if I can, I spend it at home. I'd much rather like hang out with people than, I don't know, get gifts from them or talk to them on the phone or, um, I don't know, talk to them on social media. I'd much rather just hang out with you. Like that's just how I've always been. So when I don't see my friends or family for a while I start to get you know a little bit sad and I'm like I just want to hang out with you <laughs> so seeing all of these cool events that are literally just around the corner and I had no idea they existed and I spend like all of my time at home doing nothing knowing that there's all of this cool stuff ha cool stuff <laughs> excuse me um happening like right around the corner for me it's just like I don't know it's just you have to open your horizons you know you have to try new things you have to push yourself out of your comfort zone I don't really reach out a lot and like get to know new people so maybe I should be checking out this Facebook <laughs> events page more often and like going and doing some fun things in my spare time and meeting new people and never know I might meet some new friends or the love of my life. I always think about that too. I call myself an extroverted introvert. So like, I'm not shy by any means, but I don't like getting out of my comfort zone. So if I'm forced into a situation with the person, like how I would be forced to see them every day at school, or I'd be forced to see them every day at work, or I would be forced to see them because we have mutual friends and my mutual friend invited them to come hang out with us. So now I am forced to spend the whole day with this person and then I'm forced to get to know them. That's usually how all of my friendships and relationships develop is because I was 
in a situation where I saw that person often and I spent a lot of quality time with them, but it was not by choice. And then eventually went by spending all that quality time with them and getting to know them, I end up liking them and then we become really good friends or a, a relationship comes out of it. And I guess the long story of what I'm trying to say is that maybe I need to force myself to be in more situations where I'm like out of my comfort zone and I'm meeting new people and I'm you know getting to see them often like I don't know I think I should join like a class or I don't know something because I feel like I'm never gonna meet a guy because I've been I'm single I've been single for a while I'm happy being single because I'm not looking like I'll never meet someone if I don't like get up get out and do something you know what I mean Get up, get out and do something. Isn't that a song? That's the song, no? Nigga, you need to get up, get out and get something. Don't let the days of your life pass by. You need to get up, get out and get something. Don't spend all your time trying to get high. Okay, outcast, I'm not out trying to get high. You need to get up, get out and get something. How will you make it if you never even try? That's more like it. <laughs> I'm editing today's vlog and I got some brand new music in today's vlog. It's very Christmassy and I really like it. Oh, you can't hear it because my headphones are in. <laughs> Come on! I love it! It has that like zippy transition sound where it's like, Bleh. you know what I'm talking about? This thing. I love it. We're watching E.T. and uh, they're interviewing the first ever Nigerian bobsled team. And the first thing I did was I turned to my mom and I said, somebody somewhere is drawing up a movie contract right now as we speak for Cool Runnings 2. This is not like figurative. This is not a movie thing. Like this is a real bobsled team that's really competing in the Winter Olympics. And it's three women from Nigeria, but it there's never been a bobsled team from Nigeria before, obviously, because it's Nigeria. <laughs> but immediately, I just thought of Cool Runnings, and I was like, if somebody is smart, they will make a movie out of this and call it Cool Runnings 2. And then my mom's like, but John Candy's dead. They can't get John Candy. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't matter. They don't need John Candy. They'll just get some other coach. They obviously had a different coach than the Jamaican people. They obviously won't have the same coach. So I'm like, maybe they could get James Corden <laughs> to be the coach in the movie version. <laughs> Oh, the other thing is we were watching E.T. Canada last night and I saw Carlos on E.T. Canada. If anybody used to, this is for all my Canadian viewers, if anybody used to watch Carlos and Sugar on YTV in the zone when you came home after school, comment below and say if you used to watch Carlos and Sugar, Carlos moved up! He moved up to E.T. Canada. He's not hosting YTV anymore. He's hosting E.T. Canada. I'm proud of him. Good for you, Carlos. Good for you. He was at YTV for like 15 years. Like, I swear the other day I was babysitting my nieces or something and I saw Carlos on YTV and I was like, you still at YTV? <laughs> Look, it's Carlos! So I forgot to end the vlog again. Got caught up with E.T. Canada and... Carlos I guess I don't know anyways thank you guys for watching again another episode of vlogmas and these videos are gonna be coming every single day um until Christmas today oh I was very upset about something you'll see it in tomorrow's vlog but Thank you guys for watching and have a good night. Remember to subscribe so you can keep up with me and all my vlog missness. And subscribe to my music channel as well because the 12 covers of Christmas is coming really, really soon on that channel. So I will look forward to seeing you guys over there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.